Welcome to PCB Heaven Tech Labs. Today we will demonstrate a very efficient way of controlling the rotation speed of a simple computer fan with three wires using PW impulses and also having simultaneously RPM feedback from this fan. You can find the complete circuit along with the schematic and the PIC firmware to download if you follow the link in the info box of this video. For this circuit, we will use the pulse stretching method. The fan is driven directly with high frequency PW impulses. I chosen a frequency around 21 kHz so that it does not create acoustic sounds. Now look at this method how it works. The oscilloscope is connected to the circuit while in operation. The yellow channel is connected directly to the gate of the MOSFET and displays the PW impulses. The green channel is the RPM feedback of the fan. You can see that in normal conditions the RPM feedback is similar to the PW impulses and this is what gives the RPM reading a hard time. Finally, the blue channel shows the sampling rate. Whenever the blue channel is high, the peak gets the RPM feedback from the fan. Now look how the pulse stretching method works. Whenever we want to read the RPM from the fan, we stop the PW train and instead we send constant current to the power of the fan. At that time, the internal tachometer of the fan will operate normally. We can then read the pulse from the third wire. We need to read a complete period of a pulse in order to achieve a proper RPM reading. When a full period is completed, we then continue sending the PW train to the power of the fan. On the circuit now. I have attached a potentiometer to control the speed of the fan. This potentiometer is connected to the built-in analog to digital converter module of the PIC. The speed is controlled by changing the PWM duty cycle. Look how the duty cycle is changed while I rotate the potentiometer. Finally, the circuit will send the results of this LCD screen. If you don't really want to see the RPM speed, then you can just remove completely the LCD from the circuit and you have just make yourself a PWM fan controller that works. Now the circuit in operation. You can see that the fan can be rotated at very low speeds. And the great thing is that no matter how slow it rotates, it cannot be stalled. This has to do with the pulse stretching method itself. Suppose that the fan is stalled. The next time that the peak will try to read the speed, the fan will be powered with constant current as long as it needs for the peak to read a full pulse period. Look at the LED and the PWM pulses. The LED is always on and the PWM pulses have a 100% duty cycle as long as I keep the fan stalled. When I leave the fan, the PWM pulses are restored and the fan continues to rotate at that low speed it was before. That's a remarkable feature of this method. With the potentiometer, I can set whichever speed I may. When it's full turn to the right, the fan rotates at full speed. The circuit will get RPM feedback twice a second. This is of course quite a fast feedback cycle. You can change this feedback very easily by altering one line of code in the assembly listing. With slower feedback cycle, you can achieve even slower fan speeds. That's all. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to visit our website for more interesting circuits.